So a ton of people have been asking me to do this state of JavaScript survey. I'm just kidding. No one has asked me, but I'm going to go through it because I'm running out of content ideas and I got to keep that ball rolling. Let's just go ahead and go through this. I want to kind of maybe investigate what's going on in this industry because I've been so hyper-focused on Next.js. Hey, if you want to buy their t-shirt, it looks pretty cool. 30 bucks. Um, let's just go through here and just see if there's anything interesting that we can kind of talk about. So it seems like most of the people who took this are in Europe, in the US. The majority speak English. Survey completion. Good job. You guys can finish a survey, but you can't finish a Udemy tutorial or course. I'm proud of you guys for at least finishing something. All right, we got age. Turns out that most of the people are uh, at least under 40. That's kind of curious. I, I think it's probably because after you get over the age of 40, in this career, you probably drop dead from a heart attack from having to debug null pointer exceptions all day and hydration errors in Next.js. And you're probably sitting down in a chair all day, which isn't really healthy. Or maybe most of these people just get rich and they can just kind of quit their job after they hit the age of 40 and 50. But it is kind of interesting that it just drastically drops off. Maybe also because social media, the people who are actually going online and doing stuff like this are just younger people. And yes, I consider under 40 kind of young to make myself feel better. We got years of experience. I mean, it's a pretty good distribution. Okay, going through this, company size, don't care, yearly income. I was actually surprised with the ranges. I mean, in the US, I think I started with 60K when I first got hired. I'm definitely up in the higher ranges now. I won't spill the beans. And then also US salaries are always just higher for software engineering. Higher educational degree. Gender is 94% male. That makes sense because it's a giant sausage fest in this industry. Let's go through race. Okay, let's skip that one so I don't get canceled. Disability. Okay, let's just go to the next one. This is not why you guys are watching this. You guys want to actually learn about the features. Um, honestly, I don't care about JavaScript features too much. Right? I mean, like, who cares? I don't know why they're even asking about this stuff. Like, async await. Who? Why? Why is this even here? Hash bang grammar. What does that mean? Why is that in the JavaScript survey? Like logical assignment. I think I've never actually used this. What the heck is this? Logical assignment. The logical and assignment operator only evaluates the right operand and assigns to the left if the left operand is truthy. Let's just try this out. So A, which is one, try to assign it to two, it's still, it, and it prints out two. B, which is assigned to zero, you try to assign it to two and it doesn't work. Interesting. And I bet you if you switch it, I bet you this would, let's run it. We get one and then we get two. So in this particular example, it's going to assign it if it's zero. Otherwise it will not override it if it's truthy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used that. I'm not sure if it's really that uh, useful, honestly. Let's just kind of keep going through here. String features, replace all, match all. Okay, array features, find last. Uh, let's just keep scrolling. Okay, what's this? Oh, Dax is in here. I wonder how much he paid to get his face on this survey. No technology has have a bigger impact on quality than what I've shipped in years. I think they are carrying the torch on pushing. I need to try out Replicash. He keeps talking about Replicash. <laughs> At this point, I don't even know what I'm doing in this video. I'm just going to go through this. You guys might be bored. You probably already clicked away, but who cares? Let's see. Language pain points. Static typing. Lack of native typing. Yeah, it'd be cool if like the language is actually like typed by default instead of us having to use TypeScript. Like if that was built into the browser, I feel like that would take out a whole compile step for like running this stuff. ESM, dates, voice async programming, reading list. Okay, so you others are also unaware of this logical assignment. I'm glad that um, I learned something from reading through the survey. That's pretty good. Temporal. I don't know what that is. Anyway, honestly, we just care about libraries, right? We just care about libraries and frameworks. Let's just skip ahead. React, build a goat, can't beat it. You can't kill it either, unfortunately. So it's still here. Webpack, same with that. Uh, hopefully it dies soon. View, I wish pe more people use Vue. Vue is actually really nice. So let's see what the new hyped changes over time are. We got Vite skyrocketing to the moon. Okay, because it's super fast and it's awesome from what everyone says. Jest is slowly not as cool for some reason. And I would agree because when you use Jest on a larger project, it just doesn't really run too fast. Um, I'm assuming Vitesse is somewhere in here. Playwright, that's something I keep hearing about. I want to try out. Honestly, I use Cypress where we work. Oh, here's Vitesse right here. 
So it's gaining in popularity. Ooh, Next.js is getting wrecked. Why you gotta do that to our boy? How did Vue.js get negative opinions? Is that with the V3 composition API? I mean, they made Vue much better in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that, that it probably feels more like React now and people are like, yeah, that's gross. Mocha, dead in the water. Cordova, I don't think I've even used that. Gatsby, dead. Iconic. This is a great chart. I can't even read the stuff I'm hovering over. What library do they use to build this chart? Let's see. It's probably using a canvas. Like, look at this. Do I have to zoom in to see it? Am I reading this right? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Parcel. Parcel. I, we actually use Parcel. We started our project on Parcel, and then we switched to Webpack, and then we switched to ES Build. Just a never-ending battle of switching build tools. Library tier list. Okay. Do I agree with this? Vite. I think Vite's pretty good. Vitas, very good. Playwright, I never use it. I need to use it, but people say they like it. Astro, I think it's great for a static site. I haven't really used it for much other than like making a simple, you know, one page application. Svelte and Svelte Kit, it's up there as well. I need to also uh, give that a solid attempt. Storybook, I, I, people, at one point Storybook was like popping off, but then everyone just started hating on it for some reason. They just feel like it's more effort to actually do this stuff than just go into your components and modify and show a designer. Not really sure. I've never used Storybook, honestly. All right, let's check out the B range. We got Nuxt, and we got Vue. Why are these in the B? Like, I feel like Vue is phenomenal. I've used Vue before. I've used, I kind of play with Nuxt. It's just super concise and easy to use. Why is it in the B next to React? Like, you're going to choose React over Vue? Let's be honest. <laughs> like, it should at least be an A. Cypress we use at work, I think it's pretty good. Um, it has a very interesting approach to writing tests. Is NX kind of like a turbo repo, mono repo build tool? I don't think I've actually used it. Next.js, it's in B. Probably used to be in A before they added the app router, unfortunately. And C, I mean, at least at least Angular still is on the board, right? That's good. I used to code in Angular back in 2014 and 15, Angular JS, and then I used Angular 2, got to Angular 4, and then I switched to a React project and I haven't looked back. But now as I look back, I mean, Angular has some good things going for it if you're big into TypeScript. I'm big into like dependency injection and all the other enterprisey type of stuff they like to add in. Recommended resources. Okay, next front end frameworks. This is the the moment of truth. What you all have been waiting for. To slowly see your favorite frameworks dying out in popularity. So let's go check out front end frameworks ratio over time. Uh, okay, let's do usage. Obviously, React is still king of the castle. I mean, everyone uses React. I would like it if maybe some of the, these other tools could like rise in popularity so that people calling the shots at companies don't just keep on picking React. <laughs> yep, Vue's up there. People like Vue, okay? Angular's dying out slowly. Svelte, also I hear good things about Svelte. I keep hearing about Quick, but honestly I haven't used it. We're solid. I hear good things about Solid as well, but how many people use them? Awareness, let's see. Everyone knows about Svelte, everyone knows about Angular, everyone knows about Vue, everyone knows about React. Some of the newer things, Stencil, I might have to check that out, never heard about it. Uh, Lit, I think I've heard about Lit, never used it. What's this yellow line? Alpine, okay. HTMX made the board, let's go. HTMX, with all of its memeing on Twitter, it actually was able to get higher than all these other things. That's pretty crazy. Interests, uh, no one cares about anything. Retention. Everyone just hates their job. Positivity. Everything's dying in positivity except for Svelte. Svelte, people seem to be more and more positive about it. But even me personally, I, I feel like this is just a natural thing, right? As you use it for years on years, you're like, I want to use something new because you get bored of it. You get annoyed with the uh, repetitiveness of whatever you're using. And then you switch to something else, and then in five years at all, so you hate it too. So let's just keep scrolling. Happiness. Overall, we're just a bunch of unhappy individuals. I guess we peaked in 2018 and it's we're never going to get back to that. Okay, we were super happy then and now we're the most unhappy individuals. Look at this. Bottom of the barrel in ranking. It's okay, boys. We'll get we'll get more happy over time. Just keep on writing your React code and just cope with it. Let's go and check out friend and framework pain points. React is still the goat when it comes to pain points. Everyone hates React. Excessive dominance. Does that mean like they don't like how everyone uses it? React issues. Okay, that's very generic. Um, performance, state management, version changes, speed of changes. Okay, go on. 
All right, meta frameworks. This is actually the moment of truth that we were waiting for. The other stuff was just uh, your appetizer. Let's go over here. We have the most usage Next.js. Let's go. It's probably because I make some videos on it. It's all because of me, right? But then I also am contributing to the positivity because I bash it all the time on my channel. But joking aside, I mean, I'm trying to make this like this video kind of joking and sarcastic, but usage Next.js, everyone still uses it. I think it's a really good framework. Um, I think there's some things that changed with the app router that made some people angry. But overall, I mean, like it's the most used. So you're going to find the most packages, the largest community, most tutorials about Next.js. Following in line, why is DocuSource even on here? That's not even like a framework. Come on now. Belt Kit, Gatsby, Nuxt. So they're all up there. Dino Fresh. Get out of here, Dino. I don't know anyone who uses Dino. Solid start. I wanted to try out. I hear good things about it. Eleven uh, T. <laughs> Why is this on the list? Do people use that? I had a coworker who switched to an Eleven T project, and within about a month, they switched back to another project because they're like, "I'm not working with this garbage. No one's interested in anything anymore. We're all burned out. Retention, positivity. Next.js has taken a huge hit. And again, I think it's the app router changes. People are just not really happy about them. But overall, I mean, it gets the job done. All these things get the job done. They're all very similar. Uh, remix also not as positive for some reason. Meta framework pain points. Next.js is at the top, obviously, because it's the most used on the survey, at least. Testing. Um, let's skip this because no one really tests. Overall, I mean, just use the uh, playwright. Probably just use by test. Move on with your life. Build tools. We got ES build, and under that, I think I think Vite is built on top of ES build, so obviously these are kind of popping off. And then Turbo Pack. Good for like mono repos and stuff like that. Turbo pack up here. Rush. What is a rush? Honestly, this survey is too long and uh, I'm too bored to go through all of this. So run times. Bun, I guess, is popular. Node.js is still the most popular in this ecosystem. Dino should probably just give it up in the race. Let's see. Let's go to resources and see where I show up on the resources. Video creators. We got the three heavy hitters at the top. Fireship, the Primogen, and Theo. Turns out most of my viewers actually also watch Theo. Like a lot of the subscribers come from Theo's channel to watch me too. Uh, let's see. Jack Harrington. He has, does a lot of React content. Josh Try Coding also does a bunch of good videos. I'm not in the top tier until you click the view more, but I am happy that I am one step above Ben Awad. I'm actually proud of that. Ben Awad was killing it on YouTube and then he decided to just like stop making tutorials. One advice I'd give you is that when you find success, don't just give up. It's unfortunate he doesn't really publish videos anymore, but I guess he's having fun building his, uh, his game. So keep scrolling. Okay, other people, I've seen most of these people. Some of these people I haven't seen, so I need to actually go check out their channels. People that you read or follow just want to highlight. Obviously, I don't show up here because I don't really post anything too interesting. Um, I'm, not, I'm not one of those big brain thinking type of people, right? These are Evan Yu, like the creator of Vue, Anthony Fu. Like these are some smart people. Dan Abramoff, like, you know, I can't, I can't really rank up there with these other people. But yeah, definitely go follow all these people because they are very, very smart and they're building really cool tools and frameworks and libraries and stuff. And some of them just make really good content as well. Highly recommend. All right, let's just wrap this up. Awards, most adopted technology. Veet, yep, that makes sense. Highest retention, retention, Veet, okay. Vitas for highest interest. Most write-ins. Awarded to the item with the most write-ins answers. Bun. People keep hyping up Bun. Okay. Most commented library. React. Okay, that's kind of an interesting award. All right, so everyone's just simping over Veet. Conclusion. Uh, I'm not going to read through this, but I'm guessing it's good. All right, that's about it for the survey. Hope you guys had some fun for me making a little sarcastic jokes about it. But overall, I mean, I think the industry is, uh, you know, the industry is doing its thing. So have a good day. Happy coding.